from Walchen Institute of Technology. Today, we'll be talking about assignment models or assignment problems in operations research subject. At the end of this session, students are expected to understand what are the basic concepts of assignment models or assignment problems in operations research as well as uh, students are expected to understand applications and the scope related issues of assignment problems. Now, those who have heard of transportation problems, uh, they might be knowing like in transportation problem, we have supplies and uh, demands, certain supplies from factories we have and uh, certain demands from different warehouses. That is the nature of transportation problem. Now, these assignment problems, they are taken as a special type of transportation problems and uh, we will talk of it in next slide also in what way uh, it is a special case. Uh, secondly, uh, we have different operators and different job kinds of things in this for pairing or for assigning and uh, each operator is uh, supposed to be capable of working on different jobs, different machine, machines, whatever we are allocating and uh, they definitely might be having some intrinsic differences in their skills of working on different jobs or different machines. Based on that, there will be a difference in the hourly costing or total costing specified for different combinations or pairings of operators and jobs or operators of uh, or machines, any pairing we have between operators, machines, jobs, these kinds of things. Now, uh, while we look to any assignment problem, by and large, we aim at minimizing the total cost of assignment of sources to destinations in general or it may be as we have said earlier also workers to jobs or workers to machine or jobs to machine any combination but the condition is there must be equal number of sources and destinations that means if you have workers then we must have symbolically m workers then we have to have m jobs they must be equal in number and uh, the cost of this particular pairing is normally indicated with the CIJ uh, for allocation of source I to destination J. Normally, it may be a cost uh, which we basically aim at minimizing. And uh, this particularly uh, in assignment models, uh, it is assumed that all the workers are assigned or conversely, all the jobs are being performed. So, one to one pairing or assignments has to be there. And uh, further to this, as we were talking earlier, assignment problems or assignment models are a special case of transportation problems in a way that supplies and demands what we have different figures, different values in transportation problem. Here, those values may be taken as one. Wherever we allocate these supplies and demand values may take up a value of one. Otherwise, if we do not allocate, then they may assume a value of 0 and uh, with this uh, we can even convert these assignment problems or assignment models into what is known as linear programming problems also. So, we can solve assignment problems by using linear programming models or linear programming problems also. Uh, we will just go to further things and little more details on this. Uh, as I said we have sources and destinations now in the bottom of this particular slide you see a table and on the left side sources or origins are put up which are you know 1, 2, 3 up to m and uh, on the top side of the table destinations is put up uh, wherein again they may be 1, 2, 3 and up to m. So, basic requirement is we are assigning some sources to some destinations and these number of sources and number of destinations must be equal in number. So, from the table bottom in the bottom you can make out like uh, both are equal sources are m as well as destinations are also 
m in number now what can be these sources and destinations as earlier also we have discussed it may be jobs it may be workers it may be machines employees different departments of certain organization maybe plants or sales territories and many more so based on that then we have to really think how we have to solve the problem and uh, the table values that is uh, symbolically put up as a cig these table values may represent in a case like time cost distance or profit revenue income these types of parameters may be indicated by cig and uh, normally as the words indicate if it is a time or a cost or a distance we normally aim at minimizing these parameters and otherwise if these cig parameters are something like profit or revenue or income or maybe even sales figures then such parameters we would aim at maximizing so looking to the data given we can make out what for the problem is required to be solved but by and large assignment models we aim at minimizing the cost and such related parameters but rarely we do have the cases of maximization of profit or sales figures or allied data at this juncture i expect the students to think of some industries some organizations where we can apply this assignment model assignment problems think of some situations maybe it is a manufacturing industry or it's a service industry how can in which situation can we apply and how can we apply this particular assignment model technique and that will give you the applied perspective and actually we can use this in any manufacturing industry or any service industry so i expect you people to think of some such organizations where we can apply assignment models now if we just see there are different varieties of uh, assignment problems uh, a very basic initially if we think of then very simple problems which uh, with its basic procedure of whatever uh, subtraction of elements we'll discuss that so you do that procedure and uh, very soon you can get the solution to that problem you need not modify anything to that problem that we call as simple problems in assignment models another nature may be like uh, whenever we go for the allocations for uh, m by m table then the allocations that uh, we get sometimes may be less than the requirement uh, what i mean is in a table of suppose 5 uh, by 5 we have to have five allocations we'll talk of these things in detail uh, but here just to say the concept and uh, problem variations in a 5 by 5 table we have to have five allocations but eventually we may get three allocations or four allocations less than five allocations so that may be an eventual case in that case we have to extend the simple procedure we have to extend the procedure that we adopt for simple problems so there we have to draw some lines covering the zeros and uh, have additional procedure and get a new table and again go for new allocation so uh, you will understand this better while we really go to that particular type of problem solving third case is alternative solution in a given problem we may have more than one set of allocations but the total sum up in both the cases has to be same or it it's not that you have only two solutions it may be more than one 2 3 4 multiple solutions multiple combinations of assignments we may have and that also we can find out by this mathematical methods uh, next case is an unbalanced uh, this means 
the number of rows and number of columns are not matching so that is an unbalanced case which we cannot solve the problem which we have to convert it in some form and balance it after balancing only then we can adopt the regular procedure of solving problem and we can get the solution next is maximization as i said little while ago uh, if we have profit or a revenue related data or sales kind of a data income kind of a data we need to maximize that but one thing i highlight here the basic problem solving procedure in assignment models is for minimization but if the problem is given for maximization we have to have one small change in the beginning that we will discuss while we talk of the problem case and last case is a traveling salesman problem this is particularly concerned with the uh, uh, salesperson kind of thing moving from one destination one city to other city in that uh, he has to move in a chain style and if you got five cities then moving all the five cities then he is supposed to come back to original destination and that's again a special case and uh, these are the reference books taha sharma and gupta thank you